Fox and we're continuing that also in this morning with the events of 9-11 all over TV, print, media and radio, not to mention even the school curriculum. It's a subject children can't avoid. Our Lionel, the news decoder, joins us this morning to talk about the effects of children on viewing the September 11th coverage. So Lionel, it's really all about from Lionel tonight on the PIX11 News at 10. And of course, you can follow him on Twitter at Lionel Media. It's 821 on this morning. We'll be right back. It's 8.09 and closing arguments are set for today in the Barbara Sheehan murder trial. Prosecutors say about this trial with more on what we can expect today in the Barbara Sheehan trial. Our PIX 11 is Kristen Cole and our focus on just, yes. you know, the timeline that she was perusing through these websites before, travel websites, celebrity websites, uh, looking over her son's religion paper, paper too. Right. Did she so have it's time getting you get down to, you know, minute by minute. So second by second. Right. Watch closely, bring it to yes. us on uh, to an end. 8.14 now and let's check in with Linda Church in our weather. More emotionally uh, riveting testimony here is today, Thursday, the third week in a trial for a woman who claims she was abused for decades by her husband. She killed the former detective because she says he was about to kill her. And if you haven't been following this case, it is really a fascinating one. And here's a look now at what's happened so far. And for more on the case, Lionel the decoder is here with his take. And if you weren't aware, he knows a thing or two about the law from his years as a prosecutor. And Lionel, you kind of set it for the Sheehan trial in our five o'clock newscast again. A team of reporters there are covering this and also the very latest on the news at 10. Don't forget, you can follow Lionel on Twitter at Lionel Media for his perspective. It is now 8.13. Sukanya? You heard it from Lionel. Sukanya, thank you. It is 8.31. You know the effects of the Israel-Iran conflict are being held and being felt uh, right here in New York with police now guarding Temple Emanuel on Fifth and developing weapons. Lionel, the news decoder, joins us now to break down the situation. There's that, that threat may be there. And how are we going to get involved? Is the United States going to get involved past economic sanctions, past diplomacy, in saying, okay, you know what, right. there's going to be military strikes? Uh, oh, thank you. Thank um, you. For more, from Lionel, tune into the PIX11 News right here at 5 and 10 on PIX11. You can also follow him on Twitter. His handle is at Lionel Media. It is now 8.34. Sakanya? All right, come. All right, Linda, thank you. It's 8.13. The Occupy Wall Street movement is not only capturing attention here in New York, it's gone global. However, how important are these protests actually? Lionel, the news decoder is here with me. Uh, it is Monday morning, 8.14. You know who joins us around this time. Lionel, the news decoder, to talk about all the stories out there making buzz. First, we're going to talk about this one because we reported about it and a lot of you are talking about it. The Casey Anthony video spurring more talks about arresting her. So Lionel is here. Uh, you can uh, see Lionel uh, throughout the evenings here on PIX11 on the news at 5 and the news at 10. And you can also follow him on Twitter at Lionel Media. It is now 8.17. Sakanya, it's 8.08 and we're going to get really cerebral today. Not that we don't always uh, do it when, when he joins us. But did you know that December 15th was Bill of Rights Day? And our news decoder Lionel says the Constitution and the Bill of Rights are the best kept secrets today. He's about this radicalization of problem. constitutionalists. That's I had no idea who came to called sometimes. existence apps. Making that great as matter do you, work. Francis, as do you. Thank you. Pix 11 morning news and also Pix news at five for more of Lionel's commentary. Lionel, thank you thank as always. You. Sakanya? All right, well, thank you. All right, uh, you know that the mind of Lionel, our news decoder, is always churning. So he's joining us uh, on this Monday morning with a topic of police and excessive violence. Come again recently, you know, video being mocked. Um, but you have coined this as the hyper militarization. These days, everybody has a cell phone. Everybody no. capturing that. Thank image. God we conversation with Lionel on Twitter at Lionel Media. You can also catch him later today on the news at five and the news at 10. 816. Of Singer Whitney Houston's death spread like wildfire. Now we're hearing that the story was on Twitter 27 minutes before it actually broke on mainstream media. And here to talk about the power and significance of Twitter is our news decoder, Lionel. And well, I'm like, aren't you afraid for your job? Because now Twitter is doing the job Thank very you. much. Yeah, for more com commentary from Lionel on this and other topics, tune in to the news at 5 and 10 right here on PIX11. And you can also follow him on Twitter. His handle is at Lionel Twitter. Media, of course, <laughs> at Twitter. Thank so you. Kind of, you know, today marks Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a holiday meant to be a national day of service to honor the civil rights icon. While many people have the day off, you know, a lot of people really need to reflect on the true meaning of the day. Our news decoder Lionel joins us this morning. And Lionel, thank you for being with you. us. Uh, it is now 8.20. All right, Mike, thank you. A lot of you at home may have been ignoring him at first, but as Occupy Wall Street gains momentum, crowds and big name support, you may not be able to ignore them anymore. We've got uh, Lionel, the news decoder here, to put it all in. <laughs> Stay with PIX11 News for the latest on Occupy Wall Street protests. And don't forget, you can follow Lionel a where, a way, <laughs> at Lionel Media on Twitter. Lionel Media.
Yeah, he's on Twitter, wow. Linda. Well, okay. I knew he was on Twitter. I just didn't know he was in the Trayvon Martin case. So the case of Marissa Alexander, she's a woman you probably have never heard of before, but her case also centers around stand commentaries by tuning into the news at 5 and 10 weeknights right here on PIX11, or you can follow him on Twitter. His handle is at Lionel Media. Time right now is uh, 8.35, Sakanya. So 8.14 right now. Tomorrow, a grand jury will hear testimony in the shooting death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. And tonight, supporters plan to gather in Union Square for a rally to voice their concerns in the handling of this case. Our News Decoder Liner joins us now with his biggest concern and a plea uh, with this case, you know, taking some commentaries weekdays here on the news at 5 and 10. Or you can follow him on Twitter. His handle is at LionelMedia.com. Lionel, as always, thank you thank very you. much. It is 8.17 right now. And how about we get a check of the weather? Here's Linda Church. Linda? The Oscar goes to, well, whoever gets the most votes from the Academy. But what is that Academy that all the winners keep thanking and talking about and who are its members? Our news decoder, Lionel, is here with a breakdown. Uh, so, Lionel, good morning. Let's decode. Is this a joke? These are the people who decide? Yes. Uh, it's a bad joke. Everything was about worst and best dress. Do you think yes. it's more about just Patch's song? I was like, it was too fast for me. I didn't you know? understand. Also, about commentary from Lionel. Tune in every weeknight to Pix11, or you can follow him on Twitter. His handle is at Lionel Media. 837, Sakanya. Now, and cops are on the hunt this morning morning for a guy who is targeting young girls. He even grabbed one. Our Mike Gilliam is live in Flushing. He brings us more this morning. Morning, Mike. It's Monday morning. Scary situation out of Queens, especially for young kids, young girls, where there is a child predator trying to lure these young girls. There you can see here from the surveillance video, kind of an image of the guy. What's happened is that there was an SUV who drove up to a 13-year-old girl, tried to get that girl into the vehicle. At least this guy did. She was able to get away, but certainly some scary situations uh, there. And now to this store here, firefighters rushed to put out a fast-moving fire uh, last night. It started at this store, quickly spread to a nearby building there in Queens. Firefighters say the flames broke out at about, uh, you know, um, overnight hours at 104th Street in Corona, and it spread to two other stores in a nearby apartment building. One firefighter was hurt. And on this story here the husband and brother of a Staten Island woman who disappeared while on vacation in Turkey well they're trying to get to the bottom of this mystery here Any questions left in that mystery so Kanye that's pretty much says it all leaving guys <laughs> tongue-tied and I'm sure in reality as well that was the clip from the new show bells and we're happy to have Tammy Roman Friday on TV one and for more on the show and the return of the basketball wives meet us on the web at pix11.com Tammy we love having you here oh, thank, thank you. you so much serious case of miscommunication leaves one man in the hospital our Dan Manorino is live in the pix11 newsroom he brings us those details. Dan, good morning. Ed Koch, and you can be there if you want. The late morning funeral will be open to the public. So no doubt uh, you got your making up this morning, so you don't have to spend that time. We're doing the work for you. So let's get you started with the headlines we found, starting with this one here. Hey, that's not mommy in the casket. There's a South African dad uh, who found a stranger when he lifted the casket at a funeral that was supposed to be that of his wife. Uh, later, that funeral director admitted that, yeah, they took the wrong body out of the morgue. Needless to say, that family is traumatized. Uh, on to this story now. So sex for an IRS break. There's an Oregon man who's suing an IRS agent claiming that he was coerced to have sex with her because she showed up at his doorstep, you know, dressed all sexy and provocatively and threatened him with a tax penalty. She sexted him before that. She offered him massages and said, oh, yeah, you're not, you're not going to play? A 40% tax penalty hit. How about that? Well, now he's so. I don't know about a cheap funcer, but a chief funcer. All right, there's a story coming out of Brazil here where they're actually making room for uh, those obese spectators. This is the 2014 World Cup in Brazil where the stadium pounds. Talk about a goal when it comes to that. And our last story here, uh, this convicted killer started getting suspicious when he saw his girlfriend kind of struggling to lug that bag out of the prison. Uh, he's about 5'3". I'm 5'4", so that's like about this so full. the search continues for the hit and run driver who killed two young expecting parents from the web for you bringing them right to you so let's get started with what with what we found this morning and then we start with this here uh, the help and on to this story here uh, and a preseason football giants hosting the Colts at MetLife Stadium in the first uh, and touchdown to put up the Colts seven to three some injuries in the game Victor Cruz and David was it David Boss John, David Boss. David Boss. David Boss. Yes. David Boss. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, they both left the game. Cruz with a bruised heel. Boss suffered a sprained left at MCL. 
Um, is that an MCL or ACL? MCL. MCL. Yeah, yeah. What is the MCL? <laughs> Sorry for so many questions. X-rays on both players were negative. So, you know, in the third, Luck hits T.Y. Hilton and then 18-yard touchdown. The Colts beat the Giants 20 to 12. Get you up to date with the day's top stories, starting with this more controversy on uh, the city stop and frisk policy. And now, Ray Kelly is and on to this situation right here uh, overseas in Egypt. Here, at least 24 policemen are dead in Egypt after that violence uh, continues there in the streets of Egypt. And on to this story here, a month after Jackie Robinson's statue, after that was defaced, uh, something good to see as far as uh, the vandalism and uh, all that that took place uh, defacing that statue. It is now 6.44, time to get a check of PIX11 weather and traffic every 11 minutes. Special Steve joins us now with Bo. What? Always. And if I'm wearing Always. heels, I will I will switch out the heel and put a flip flops because you can't get a handle on the brake with heels. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You well, can't really brake properly. Um, Foot's kind of slipping. No, it has to do with the flip flops getting. You can't get an angle, you know, to, yeah. to either press on the gas or press on the brake. So you throw them off. Sunday evening at 630 right here on PIX11. Kirsten. All right. Thanks. 51 right now. The do's and don'ts when it comes to making your kids lunch. Well, joining us with some helpful hints are the nutrition twins, Tammy and Lisi Lakatos. Good morning to you. It's a 23. She spent years in and out of homeless shelters, but somehow managed to look beyond her troubled situation and start her own clothing business. 19 year old Zoe Demicella is pretty amazing. And besides doing all that and uh, overcoming those odds, she's gorgeous. She's <laughs> this year's winner of 17. Mag and then a lot of times, you you know, you turn that around for yourself a lot of times. And this yeah. is the fashion industry you're talking about. A young woman on the October cover. A gruesome discovery in Queens, a man found tied up shot in the head and then set on fire. Now police are looking for the killer. Pex 11's Dan Manorino is live in Richmond Hill. He brings us those details. Dan, good morning.